The woman behind allegations about Austin's DNA crime lab speaks exclusively to Austin News today. Good afternoon, I'm Robert Hadlock. And I'm Leslie Rohde. Cecily Hamilton's memo could impact thousands of criminal convictions, and it's now triggered an independent investigation. The former DNA analyst was in court this morning. She left the courtroom without having to talk to the judge, but she did talk exclusively with KXAN's Reagan Hackleman. He joins us now live from the Travis County Courthouse with more on this. Reagan. Well, Leslie and Robert, Ms. Hamilton says this past week has been horrible for her, mainly because the Austin Police Department, according to her, is making her out to simply be a disgruntled employee. Ms. Hamilton says that simply is not the truth. She never intended this memo that she penned back in February to cause such a commotion, but she does think that the Austin Police Department is doing a bad job of handling it. Speaking exclusively to KXAN, Cicely Hamilton, a former DNA analyst for APD, says she wrote the memo at the center of this controversy for one reason. I think there is one employee who has issues performing DNA analysis, which is exactly what I said in my memorandum. During her time at APD, Hamilton was one of five who worked to process DNA that would later be used during criminal trials. In the memo, Hamilton basically says she believes another DNA analyst received favorable treatment and did not have the proper training to independently analyze DNA samples. I did not like the way that the laboratory, the DNA laboratory, was being run. Since she wrote the memo, APD's chief and the Travis County District Attorney's Office have called for an independent investigation into the lab. While they've asked for the review, some higher-ups at APD and the man in charge of the lab have said they are confident no wrongdoing will be found and that Ms. Hamilton is simply a disgruntled employee. I was not a disgruntled employee. I was dissatisfied with the way that the current supervisor, technical leader, was operating the DNA laboratory. Now, Leslie and Robert, as many as 2,000 cases, according to the Travis County District Attorney, could be affected by this independent review. The case that was before Judge Bob Perkins this morning got delayed by one day. Now, coming up later, or this evening at 6 o'clock, we'll let you know what Ms. Hamilton thinks is wrong with APD's independent review into its own DNA lab. Reporting live from downtown Austin, Reagan Hackleman, KXAN Austin News.